So, tell me about it. Well, it features Polestar performance architecture, a bonded aluminium unibody, and best-in-class vehicle dynamics and braking performance. Does it turn invisible? What? No. Does that technology even exist? Of course it does. How's your acceleration? In case I'm in a pursuit? Well, the zero to 100 kilometers per hour time is 3.2 seconds. Should be more than enough to evade any pursuers, eh? I'll be the one doing the pursuing. It has a 14.5-inch LCD center display, as well as a 9-inch driver display. The center display is in portrait, which means you can have important info like navigation up top and other apps below. Mm -hmm. And the flamethrower? I hate when that's buried in some sub-menu. The system is designed so that functions are only a tap or two away. Even the ones that don't exist. Who's Piers? That'd be me. Ooh, and that must be the knockout. It's a speaker. It's a speaker. It's one of, of 21 of the Bowers and Wilkins audio mm -hmm. system, which offers 3D surround sound. The rear view HD camera provides a much wider, clearer view behind the car than a traditional mirror. Sounds good, P. Piers. This is the Polestar 5 performance, meaning 650 kilowatts of power, 1,050 newton meters of torque, an 800 volt architecture, and a 112 kilowatt hour battery. Impressive. How's the storage? It has 365 liters in the rear, and a further 62 liters in the front luggage compartment. Uh, plenty of room for a jetpack, and perhaps a reserve jetpack too. You know what? I think so. Fantastic. I'll take it.